All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator 2. We're here on the home screen because we've got a new update today. It is version 1.6, which brings a few things. And actually, amazingly, one of the things actually is here on the main menu. There is something to show you other than just this new case, which highlights some of the parts that we'll be talking about very soon. There's actually another feature here. You'll see a new button here, down here. Can you see this with this little, this little repeating logo? So this actually lets you control what PC is on the home screen, which is pretty cool. So by default, it's, it's well, whatever the game decides, each update it always changes. It's, I actually think that's kind of fun. Um, but if you aren't into that, you can show the PCs that you build, um, which is really cool. So as you know, in Peace Building Center 2, you have the ability to uh, save PCs for sharing externally with other people with the game who can pull it into their game and build it, whatever. Well, you can also now pull those PCs onto your screen. So I've got a few here, um, like the LED showcase is like one of the, the pre-built standard ones. So you can, boom, right there on the home screen, which is pretty fun. Uh, we got some other ones, you know, here's some ones I built, like a rainbow PC, something, you know, gumdrops or bouncy balls. I don't know what those are, something. Uh, you can also just pick a folder so like we're in the PCs folder, you can just say select directory for random PC. And then I think what happens is every time you come into the game, it will just be a random PC from the folder, which is kind of fun too. So uh, a fun way to check out the builds that you've built and kind of showcase them. So you can do that, uh, pretty neat. Actually like that a lot. And then you can also reset default. We'll go back to, the, to what we had with the main gear uh, PC with the new components that we're gonna talk about right now. So let's jump in to free build and run over what else is new in version 1.6 of PC Building Center 2. All right, welcome to the free build workshop. Uh, all right, so let's jump in. Let's talk about what's new. We've got new parts and we've got a new workshop theme. So let's do that first because workshop themes are fun. You can tell we got a new one because there's an exclamation point on the decorator app. Let's do it. The decorator app is like my least favorite thing ever because the performance is so janky, but let's do it. So this is going to be an AMD themed workshop. So you've know, got MSI. That was our newest one before that we had LTT. Uh, that's actually kind of like the only ones you have so far, but AMD is our new one. So let's check it out. I've not looked at this, as you can see, exclamation point. Let's see, AMD walls. Now I'm waiting, I'm waiting. It's, this is, I, I don't like, I don't like the decorator app. It's just, it's just painful. Okay, I'm gonna kind of do this piece by piece, which is sort of fun. Wow, lots of lights. We got the AMD logo there. I'm guessing there's gonna be lots of AMD logos here. There it is, AMD logo there. You can put up a poster, probably get some AMD. Wow, that's, I thought that was moving with me for a second. That's fun. Ooh. Okay, who knew the workshop was so much bigger or is it just an illusion? I don't know. Oh, you can change the colors. Yeah, they did this in the MSI one too. Wow, uh, so wow, you can, there's multiple panels. This is overwhelming. So, okay, I turn this one to blue. Oh, is that just, did that change? Did that change anything else? Green? Okay, so it's definitely changing our light tunnel. And it's not changing anything else. Okay, it's just changing the light tunnel. So maybe this is just light tunnel stuff. Oh yeah, it totally is. And then we'll do pink. Okay, so it's just light tunnel, which is really fun. Yeah, nothing else is affected. Okay, I got very excited, but it makes sense why it's right over here. And then we've also got the effects. So we are on inner circle, outer circle, launch mode, pulse mode, warp speed, pulse speed. Ah, uh, launch mode? Uh, okay, all right. Okay, what? I don't, I don't understand. Okay, so I think launch mode is on and now it's off. So red is on. Pulse, pulse mode. Okay, I don't like that. Launch mode seems good. Uh, okay, well, you know. It said, yeah, I don't know, there's some effects here. I think the default was pretty good. Like launch mode seems good. I don't really know what pulse mode. Okay, whatever, you know, and you can speed up or whatever. So like, I guess we could go full. Let's just, let's just, this is gonna be, this is gonna be absolutely nauseating of a feeling. Oh yeah, I know it wasn't that bad actually, just very fast. Okay, cool, well that's fun. All right, so light tunnel. Okay, let's, let's just keep decorating because that was only the walls. We're having so much fun here. Uh, let's do the ceiling. This will be, this will be less exciting. AMD ceiling. Okay, we got lots of triangles and little lights. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, we'll do the floor. Floor, floor, floor. Lots of AMD logos, here it comes. Oh, it wasn't nearly as many as I thought, okay. Thought it was just gonna be like patterned AMD logos everywhere, but no, not really. Okay, and uh, yeah, I guess that's that's it. 
right? Because we can obviously do, we can see if we have any posters. We might have posters. Yeah. Yeah. Just be a complete AMD shill. Let's do it. Sponsored. Not sponsored at all. So we've got, okay, run the Galaxy on AMD Ryzen processors. Why is AMD so far over? Okay. And there's all of our poster options. Bring the world to life with AMD Radeon graphics. Are you ready? Okay, cool. So yeah. Oh. Wait. When did the when did this show up? What what did I don't remember what this comes with. Okay. I felt like that wasn't there before. Am I crazy? Is there an AMD uh, is there an AMD workbench? There might be. Oh yeah. Of course there is. Ooh, dark. Lots of lights. The stools are fun. The stools all changed with the floor, I think. Okay, maybe this changed with the floor. I can't remember. Okay, cool. So there you go. That's the AMD workshop theme. That's pretty fun. Um, but there's also, uh, we'll, we'll get to parts, but first there's some new stuff with uh, the decorator with, a, with stickers and whatnot. But I think actually there's, there's I saw some things in here. So Shovel Knight has a little bit of a, uh, yeah, boy, we'll keep those AMD posters up here. We'll, we'll see what's over here. Oh, that's not it. That's on a poster. Uh, that was on a poster. Uh, uh, eight. Uh, 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 poster here. Okay. There is a Shovel Knight poster. We also had Horizon Chase ones from the last update. Yeah. So there's a Shovel Knight one. There's some Shovel Knight stickers which we can look at. They go on the cases. Nothing too crazy. What's in here? Ooh, look at this GPU animation and random lit up drink containers or something. And then we got lots of AMD parts here. All the CPUs, all the GPUs, and all the mugs and coasters. I want one of those coasters. I want one of those mugs. Rid box. I don't know what that. I don't know what. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that is. Okay. Anyway, cool. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much everything AMD and post relay. Let's look. Uh, we can do case decorator really quick. Uh, we'll just take. My, we'll just take this rainbow PC. It's already been. It's already been. Uh, messed up anyway. Let's do some stickers. I think we've got some new stickers here. Oh, I hate that you have to go through all the things. It's gonna be a section in here, I assume. Yeah, Horizon Chase, now we got Shovel Knight. So we have Shovel Knight stickers. There you go. So now, I've never played Shovel Knight, actually. I think I heard that, isn't this game like really hard? Pretty sure it's really hard. Pretty, 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 pretty sure it's really hard. Uh, let's make that a smaller, there you go. Get your Shovel Knight, cool. And this this adorable looking thing. Beep. So yeah, there you go. We got a bunch of stickers from Shovel Knight. You know, nothing too crazy. Okay, let's jump into parts. Parts, 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 parts is the more fun part anyway. Uh, all right, let's see. We've got a few new things. So one of the big kind of highlights is we've got a few new cases. One of the cases we have is a new case from Main Gear. Uh, Main Gear, you might know, they make Main Gear makes like pre built I think, right? Pretty, 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 pretty sure. Uh, so we have their case, the MG1. So that's the only Main Gear part, but they're kind of like being introduced in the update uh, for having you know one part. So there it is. You know, it's a pretty standard ATX case, tempered, you know, tempered glass on the front. Uh, you know, power supply basement. Pretty standard affair there so that's new uh what other cases do we have we have two more cases that are new we have a cooler master the cube 500 which is pretty cool remember this case so that's a fun little like some, i guess it's actually stand it actually fits e eatx mother motherboard that's crazy how how big are you i mean it's still not that big it does have a pretty cool layout because it has or actually what is this I don't know exactly how that works. This would be kind of a fun one to build in. To build in this one sometime. Yeah, so uh, a little bit like like more interesting non-standard layout, which is pretty fun. Uh, and then we also have one new case from Fantex. It's the NV7, which is also black and white. Let's see the white version. I'm just gonna I'll, I'll delete those those from my uh, my sh my cupboard here soon. This one's actually cool. I like the diagonally cut glass on the front that's pretty sweet and you've got ooh. see this is a cool layout it's fun to see different lands and that actually swings open you got your power supply up there is that a standard that's got to be an sfx power supply right that's cool okay this that is a cool case this will be fun to build and that'll be fun for some cool water cooling with this big spot for a radiator there 
Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I'll be interested to see where some of the water cooling parts mount in this. Pretty cool. So there you go, three cases. Uh, we've also got some new GPUs, two new GPUs, fittingly, from AMD. We've got their RX. We already had like some of the 7,000, so we had the 7,800. XT, the 7900 XT. Now we have the 7700 XT. Where are you? Oh, right here. 7700 XT and the 7800 XT. No, yes, 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 yes. So we already had the 7900 XT and the 7900 XTX. That's right. Okay. I just remember what we had before. Yeah. So get a couple new GPUs from them. That's cool. That's actually a nice, nice addition there. Uh, let's see. We've also got a couple case fans from Fantex. We haven't had any case fans from them. That's pretty cool. These are, I believe the D, these D30s are, um, they don't actually have like RGB lines. They're kind of like the, the fans that Leon Lee did where they have like contact, contact connections for running RGB to these, I think. Uh, which probably won't work in the game, but I'm pretty sure it's how I work in real life. Anyway, those are pretty cool. Those are a fun, fun looking case fan from um from fantex and then the last set of parts we have is all peripherals and it's from razor which is which is cool uh, i haven't seen razor stuff in a bit so headsets keyboards and yeah wow just headsets and keyboards so actually let's look at the headset quick which is going to be over here i've got a headset mount and do we have so we had razor ones before now we have so we had the vt v2 pro and now we have the v3 pro that is the new addition for headsets, is the V3 Pro. Everything else here was was existing. So there you go, not super exciting. Uh, on the keyboard front, we've got quite a few new ones, and we obviously had quite a few. So new ones we have are the Black Widow V4. Black Widow, we heard the Black Widow Lite, I believe. Yeah, Black Widow V4 here. We got a 75% version, and then also the V4 Pro here black water v4 pro so okay couple of keyboards here's a v4 pro and then there's also the 75 percent version um we've got death stalker v2 and the v2 pro you know that we've got keyboards basically i mean I could, I could definitely i can definitely find these uh death stalker v2 and v2 pro tkl So that's tank lead, tank lead. Okay, uh, cool. And then we've also got the Ornata. So we already had the Ornata V, oh yeah, regular Ornata. Now we have the V3 and the V3X. V3, V3X. Do not, they do not look particularly different. There is the V3. And, uh, oh, I've got to say, they, they don't look... They don't look that, I can't type, they do not look that different to me. Uh, very subtle. So so there you go. So we got a few new keyboards, one new headset from Razer, new, two new case fans, uh, 120 and 140 mil from Fantex, new GPUs in the RX 7700 XT and the 7800 XT. And we got three new cases, one from Main Gear, the MG1, the Cooler Master Cube 500 and the Fantex NV7. Actually the case is the most exciting and the, the GPUs are good. Those are nice too. Um, and then obviously, we got this new workshop, which is pretty fun, and we can change our computer on the main screen. That is pretty much it, other than a bunch of bug fixes. Uh, I will link to the full change log if you want to check it out. That has been version 1.6 of PC Building Simulator 2. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't join to see more videos, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.